you guys it's Lisa it's been a bit I uh, apologize but um, sorry not sorry I have been just crazy busy with creating so um, today I'm just gonna pop in and give you this quick video about what's going on and I have a tip right away when you look at my desk here um, I'm working on several projects and I like to have a clean surface between weeks so um, if I'm working on um, one thing um, during the week and my surface is all messy I like to clean that off and then Monday morning I go at it again well I've been putting down um, wallpaper um, pages from this book so you know what a wallpaper book is you get them at the uh, DIY stores and sometimes they give them to you for free because the samples are out of stock you know they don't they don't have that one anymore but I was using the back sides you know and covering my surfaces and then just yesterday which is Sunday I was setting up my space for today which is Monday obviously and I thought well why not use this great inspiration right here as my work surface if I can part with it and I can I'm, I'm gonna part with this I'm gonna work on top of it and then when I come to my space you know that just pulls me right into something creative like oh let's mix these colors oh let's use this palette oh let's do something with this right so this is what I put down yesterday and there are several several cool patterns here's another one I just pulled but look at that isn't that just adorable paper I mean even if you were going to use it um, cut it up and use it for card fronts you know that would be really great you know if you're in the card making uh, business which I am sometimes but this one just really got my attention when I was just leafing through that big book just to use some table covering and look what happened then um, this sparked some um, imagination interest you know um, inspiration and then I thought oh I gotta get out my butterfly and finish it now this was something I started last week just because I was watching a taster by um, let's see Tamara Laporte willowing arts and she had a seven-day taster or whatever she has a um, big workshop coming out that's called a year of light and I'll link it below for you and um, the Year of Light obviously has all different kinds of um, artists that are going to show different techniques and projects and get you excited about what they do with their light, with their art, excuse me. This one was the first one of that taster and it was by Tamara Laporte who is the founder of Willowing Arts and again I'll link everything below I didn't get to come back and work on this anymore but I got it started so I thought well I'm going to finish that this week but this piece of paper made me grab that off of my pile of things I've been working on and say oh I gotta get that butterfly out so it did its job by being a piece of scratch paper it really did its job by getting me excited to see those color combinations and maybe um, this butterfly will end up having a little green and you know different colors because of this piece of paper who knows but I wanted to show share that with you that I've been covering my surfaces with this wallpaper book because the wallpaper book is in my way and I need to get it out of my um, workspace but I'm going to use it up first right I'm not going to throw it away it's got some good stuff in it okay so enough of that that was just my work surface I have two 
desks in my art space. I have one for filming, obviously, here, and I do work on it um, during the day when I'm not filming. But then on the other side here to my right, I have a larger desk that is with all of my tools and supplies and stuff of that nature. So um, maybe I'll try and link a few pictures of that at the end of this video so you can see that set up too, okay? Excuse me. Well, we're not going to have a, a, a lesson or anything today. I'm just going to give you information what I've been working on. So we've got this. That was really a fun tip. Try it out. Get out your... Get out your wallpaper books if you're feeling stuck. Even if you want to cut that up and make cards, like I said, that would be super fun. Okay, so I've been working on a class that I am taking. It is called Find Your Joy, and it is by Louise Fletcher, and I will link everything below. Um, you can't get in the class anymore um, this year. It is closed. You know, um, It costs uh, uh, quite a bit of money, and I, um, you know, I, I hesitated, but I jumped in, and I'm so glad I did. I'm only on, um, today is the start of week three, and I'm excited to start week three. Um, I'm trying to get through this video just because I don't want to leave you guys hanging. I know that you comment that you love the videos, and I'm super happy about that. So, yes, it is called um, Find Your Joy, Louise Fletcher. I'll put the links and what we've been doing right now is just trying, we're trying to find our style, our, um, what makes us joyful. So this was uh, lesson one. I turned it into a little um, journal book that I'm going to be working on. But super fun, great colors, a lot of color mixing, a lot of mark making, a lot of fun. Here's just a, another little thing that I had made in one of the early sessions. I'm really loving abstracts right now, which is um, totally different for for a lot of my art, but I had these laying around and I thought, well, what am I going to do with these now? Of course, I'm going to put more marks on them and work with them that way, but what, let me, wouldn't these make just really great uh, greeting cards? I'm going to adhere them to the front of these card bases, embellish them a little bit, maybe with some white pen, make some more marks, play on them. And then I have a whole set of greeting cards, maybe for someone's birthday or something of that nature. So I'm going to work on those too. Super fun, right? Um, I also have another person that I have been following quite closely. Her name is Laura Horn. I will leave the links below and she is totally getting me into all different sketchbooks. So um, sketchbooks where you practice. This is a practice um, just from one of the uh, journal prompts that I'm taking in my class, but I have all this whole journal all taped up and I've been doing some fun things in here. I also have another journal started here. We're doing some mark making. We're doing some color swatching. We're just doing some ideas down, um, collecting some things that are um, getting me excited. This was just a piece of stencil I put down, did some doodling on it. Here's a piece of paper all full of eyeballs. How much fun is that to practice? So check out Laura Horn art and I will link that below. Here's a crazy lady, but I don't know. You know, practice, practice, practice. I found this piece of wallpaper and I thought, well, I'll try it. You know, of course it's not super great, but it's it, it's an attempt, right? So Laura Horn Art, check her out. Lots of fun, cool sketchbook things. Lots of videos that you can watch if you're into watching 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 videos. I so am. I'd rather watch art videos than watch the news and things of that nature right now. So. I am keeping busy doing that, enjoying my class. I hope everyone is well. Um, give me a shout out 
in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Also, remember um, our Facebook group, Everything Paper and Glue. You need to sign up. Um, it's a fun little uh, Facebook group, and we just talk about what's coming up, what are we working on, um, new supplies, things of, the, of that nature. But again, I just wanted to pop in here, and I wanted to tell you what I was working on. I am absolutely loving my time with Louise Fletcher, and um, I can let you peek at a, a sky. Just first attempt i've got a lot of work to do but you can tell sorry about that you can tell that it's a sky right i'm loving that i've got this great big one i'm working on uh, clouds and it's got some mountains down there it's hard to show because it's so big but yeah super fun maybe i can move the camera a little bit so working on that, working on lots and lots of art, but I haven't forgot about you. I will definitely have a maybe a, um, art journal page next week. That would be really, really great. And one more thing, as long as you waited all the way to the end, I do have a $20 coupon for my abstract floral class. It is completely online. You... Um, Take it at your leisure. Um, the class is really, really fun. Really fun, upbeat, quick. Um, I think there's over five hours of content on um, the class when you sign up for it. So below I will link a $20 coupon. So that makes the class, I think, like $43, $44. So that's pretty inexpensive for an online class. Uh, show me some love. Let me know if you like it. I know that I really, really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed doing it for you. So have fun with that, um, and I will see you next week. Uh, that will give me plenty of time to catch up and get a art journal video ready for you. I'm going to start a new art journal here. I got a new... Um, Art journal. It's by Fabriano. And I chose this one because it lays flat. And next week we will do an art journal page together. And maybe it will even be this. That, that would be quite fun to put this in my um, sketchbook. So there's a plan. We've got a plan already. Let's meet here next week and we'll do this um, project that I saw Tamara Laporte do it from Willow, Willowing Arts. So lots of links below. Make sure you check it out. Show some people some love and get keep creating. That's all that matters, right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.